Hi everybody, my name is Kenneth Fahey and I'm Product Manager at Ceres XT. I'm delighted to be joined by Professor Maya Behinen ranta from the Department of Cell and Molecular Biology at the University of Uvascula in Finland. You're very welcome to Dublin Maya for the very first in-person meeting of the COSA Consortium. It's great to have you here. Thanks for taking the time to briefly chat to me about the COSA project. So you work with viruses and specifically virus cell interactions and virus dynamics. Can you tell me, how did you first get interested in virology? Uh, first, um, I, I was interested in environmental microbiology and how the bacteria are causing the disintegration of toxic compounds. But then I, I got interested about virus uh, cell cycle, viruses in, in cells and how they are interacting with the cells during their, their replication. And I, I did my PhD studies in that area, on the entry of the paraviruses. And I, I continued with that topic also during my postdoc period in, in Cornell in New York. And, and then after, after that period in the US, I started my own group in University of Uvascula and we focused on the nucleus virus interactions. And, dynamics of the biochemists. Okay, so how would you describe the major goals of your research? We have two major goals. Um, one, one is the, uh, how the viruses are changing the cell nuclear structures, specifically the chromatin, and also we are interested about nuclear organelles. And the other, other major goal is to analyze the dynamics of biochemists inside the nucleus. In, and specifically in chromatin environment. So how do you use microscopy in your studies and, and, and what imaging modalities have you used uh, up to now? The role of microscopy is essential for our studies and during our studies we have used several light microscopy techniques. We are interested about the dynamics of the virus. We have used spinning disk microscope for imaging of that. And also we, we are using other different applications of light microscopy, like photo bleaching techniques, FRET and so on. And um, we have also used earlier atomic force microscopy. EMS techniques are something that we use all the time with different kind of pre and post embedding labeling techniques. And now we are so happy to use the soft X-ray microscopy. In particular, what exposure have you had to soft X-ray microscopy? We have had a very long-lasting collaboration with Carolyn Larabelle, and who is the head of the National Center of Soft X-ray Tomography in the US. And we still work with her and, and we have have been analyzing the herpes virus induced changes of chromatin uh, by using their microscope in Berkeley, California. You are particularly interested in the herpes virus. How important is it that we learn more about this particular virus? Herpes viruses are oncolytic viruses, which means that they are able to destroy cancer cells. And nowadays, they are used, for example, to destroy melanoma cells. And for this oncolytic property, it's very important that the viruses are effectively replicating in the host cell. And one step of this effective replication in, in host cell is the viral egress from the nucleus where they have been assembled. And the re basic reason of reason behind our studies is to know that how how viruses are getting out from the nucleus and what are the things which affect the nuclear egress and the effective infection, for example, in cancer cells. So this brings us nicely to the COSID project. How would you describe your specific COSID research objectives? Our, our major goals in our current research is to go further in analyzing the virus-induced changes in the chromatin. We are interested about the uh, lamines, we are interested about uh, how they affect the chromatin structure in infected and non-infected cells. And we are also interested to know how these changes in chromatin 
are affecting viral ingress from the infected cell nucleus. So how do you plan to use a compact soft x-ray microscope in Project COSIT? We are planning to use the compact soft x-ray microscopy for uh, revealing the detailed changes of chromatin in virus infected cells. So this is a continuation of our earlier studies uh, done in, in California. So what in your view, Maya, are the future possibilities uh, for soft x-ray microscopy in your field of research? Um, as a virologist, it's very important to know how the viruses are changing the structure of the host cell. And for this reason, this can be used um, to analyze how the viral antiviral affect the viral infection and how, how these viral-induced changes are reversed in the presence of antivirals. Of course, this technique is so precious because it gives that kind of information about cellular structures that cannot be achieved in, by using any other methods. So this can be used also in medical applications, for example, analysis of cancer cells. Thank you very much for the very interesting chat, Maya. I hope you enjoy the rest of your stay in Dublin and thank you all out there for listening.